Hey, Derek for com back at you. Pepper Nuts Rock City High Falls Habanero. I dig the name. Um, still me, I tried this one before reading the ingredients, which I've never done before. I don't know what I was thinking, but it didn't taste at all like what I expected from the name. It's sweet and a beautiful taste. It, um, I couldn't quite place the fruit, and then I read the ingredients, and boom, duh. First ingredient is mango. Favorite food in the world, period. Hands down, mango. Uh, <laughs> I love mango. So, I was really, really delighted when I tasted this and was like, hey, it's not your typical habanero sauce. Um, so I've actually just begun calling it habamango at my house because High Falls habanero makes it sound like it's just going to, it'll be another habanero sauce, nothing surprising, but it was surprising. It was good. It was uh, sweet. It wasn't what I expected whatsoever. And so the second ingredient, red wine vinegar, I think that adds a bit of the taste, the different uh, unexpected aspect to it because uh, whenever you get red wine vinegar in a hot sauce it has a really unique quality to it that I really enjoy it just tingles the tongue almost it really is nice so I'm actually eating it right now this one um, I've been eating it this isn't the first time I've had it as you can tell by the bottle being so low but I've had it on a great deal of things I try to put hot sauce especially my review hot sauce is on every meal that I have from breakfast to dinner I really do this one as I've mentioned before, you probably know this by now, but I like to eat hot sauce on pancakes. This one's super good. This one and the Pineapple Persuasion were the two best Pepper Nuts Rock City um, uh, yeah, pancake hot sauces. They really, really were nice on it. It's um mild heat to it. It says medium. I don't know, maybe, maybe a little less than medium in my opinion, but people who don't haven't had their tongue scarred from hot sauce over the years might have more of a sting from it than I am. <clears throat> and the added garlic, I just love garlic mixed with fruits that you wouldn't expect. I mean, I wouldn't pick up a piece of mango and put garlic in it and eat it, but that just wouldn't occur to me. In a hot sauce, you've got it all blended there and it's a great taste. I'll tell you my favorite thing though, favorite thing I put it on, it was my birthday recently and I went to Firehouse Subs for a free sandwich like I do every year. Putting this on their steak one, I can't remember the name of it, it's a uh, steak with cheese, it doesn't matter, but this on that sandwich was fantastic. And even, and the, I wouldn't even have thought of it, but I brought it with me to the store, or the restaurant, because it says right here, we love it on steak subs. I can't agree more. That was fantastic. It was really, really good. I liked it. I liked it on everything I tried it on, truly. If it was up to me, I'd kick the mango flavor up even more, personally, but that's just because I can't possibly have enough mango. It would be, this could be all mango puree, <laughs> nothing else, and I'd be like, you should have more mango. <laughs> I give this one a good four flaming hearts. Four flaming hearts is a very good score, by the way. Uh, I mean, it's got mango in it. It's gonna be hard to mess up. I, I can't help it. Whenever I see a hot sauce with mango in it, my wallet just comes right out. It just flies over to the cash register automatically. So, guys, check it out. Pepper Nuts Rock City High Falls Habanero. Or as I have started calling it in my house, Habba Mango. Small batch only, guys. Look at that. Uh, get it now. Get it. Go.